this screencast will feature an overview of Blackboard Learn. So first of all, you need to go to this address here, http mylearn.hct.ac.ae. Um, when you get this screen here, you have to log in. So use your usual portal login information. Then log in. The first page you'll get is your My Institution page. Um, the two most important to you would be maybe My Institution, Courses, and perhaps Content Collection, which I'll explain later. So on the My Institution page, you'll see all your courses down here. So select on the course that you want to work with. Um, in this screencast, we'll use the BB9 sample course to give you an overview. So select that. So when you enter the course, you'll get the home page like this. This is called a, a module page, a course module page. You can add various modules to this. Um, along here, you have all the different content areas. For example, you have course content, some of the learning modules. I've put some of the interactive tools in here as well, and then some other things like important documents, and of course, my grades are very important. At the moment, we're in, in um, the edit mode is on, like the teacher view in Blackboard Vista. See here, edit mode on. If we select edit mode is off, the student will see a view like this here. So we're going to work in edit mode on. So this menu here, unlike Blackboard Vista, um, is very flexible. Um, you can add a variety of different uh, tools and links along this menu. You can change the names as you want. You can do that by using this here. You can create content areas, blank pages, links to tools and whatever. Um, down below we also have the course management tools. These are quite important. Um, again, I'll go into m in more detail later. You have things like your content collection where you upload all your materials to. You have a variety of course tools here which you can select from. Things like you've got the grade center here. You also have your users and groups. You can add users and make groups from here. Um, customize, customize how your course looks. Uh, for example, the startup page and whatever. So let's have a look at the content now. So the home page is going to be this course module page. Um, we have the course content here in a content area. What I've done is I've added a few things here. Okay, this introduction is an item. You can see the text below here. The course overview is a blank page. So if you've got a lot of information, you don't want to use an item. You want to use a blank page. So let's click on that. So the blank page would look something like this. Let's move into student mode again. So edit mode is off. So the student will see this for the course overview. I've also added a couple of content areas, one for the learning modules and one for some important documents. As you can see from the menu down here as well, we've got, these are the same links. So we've got learning modules here, important documents here. So let's have a look at the learning modules. Both of these are content folders. So click on that. Within this content folder, we have two learning modules, module one, module two. So click on module one. In the learning module, this is opening in a new window. You see the table of contents down here, and the first item is always disp displayed. This is, a, this is an item here. Textbook, it's a PDF file. So we have the PDF file in there. I've also added a video here. I've got a URL here, which starts up in a, in a new window because it's a new website. I've got a test page here. Again, this opens in a new window. You can click on begin, and it starts the test like this. Let's uh, save and submit. OK. Um, <coughs> OK, let's go back to that, module one. And then we have an assignment here as well. So in this assignment, you've got the instructions. Um, this is the assignment work file. Um, the student will submit the file when finished. So that was module one. Let's have a look at module two now for some different items. In module two, so module two opens up like that. Again, we have an introduction, which is an item. We also have the textbook opening up here. We have a, a mashup, which is a, which is a YouTube video so I, we can watch the video here. The YouTube video will come up here. And now we can look at some of the collaborative tools. We've got the journal. This is the journal here. We can create a new journal entry. Discussion board. 
Here's your discussion board with the various threads in it. We've got a blog. Again, it's empty, so you can create a blog entry here. And finally, we've got a wiki. This is the wiki called Possessive Adjectives. So this allows students can add pages. I've added one page here myself, but students can add pages as well later. So they're the collaborative tools. Let's go back to the course content now. So back into the course content. These modules can be accessed from here as well. All the interactive tools can be accessed from here as well. So for example, if you look at the wikis, it takes you to the wikis page, and we just looked at possessive adjectives there. The blogs page, we see it there as well. The journalist page, we see it there as well. My grades, okay, we can't see it at the moment, but students will see their grades coming up there. So that's an overview of the of a Blackboard 9 course. And as part of this training session, um, this ICT challenge, you will be expected to replicate this course here.